There is concern in Toronto this afternoon that the federal government is moving to reform Canada's refugee system and speeding up, say, citizenship and immigration officials, the approvals process for refugee claimants. Advocates here say it's a good thing, but they are worried that reducing wait times for some will mean denying access for others. CBC Toronto's Nicole Ireland. Mario Bellissimo is an immigration and refugee lawyer in Toronto. We have to be very careful because we are dealing with people's lives. Bellissimo works with hundreds of clients trying to get refugee status in Canada. Right now, there are more than 30,000 people in Ontario waiting to find out if they can stay. Most of them are in Toronto, and most will wait more than a year to learn their fate. Bellissimo says he would welcome shorter wait times, but not if it means that more people will be turned away who are in genuine need of help. Are you really going to put administrative efficiency over someone's life? And that's the challenge for both sides of the divide, the government and advocates. Advocates are also worried that reforms will block people in need from even beginning the refugee application process. Francisco Rico Martinez has been working with refugees in Toronto for almost 20 years. He suspects the way the government will reduce wait times will be to make sure fewer people can access Canada in the first place. Canada has one of the more expanded definitions in terms of refugees. So in order that not to attract people, what you have to do to reduce it, to reduce it to the levels or worse than the other countries. The Ministry of Citizenship and Immigration won't say exactly what the reforms will be or when they'll happen. Meanwhile, advocates are hoping the changes will help refugees in need rather than harm them. Nicole Ireland. CBC News, Toronto.